What's going on? Oh. Hello, Tomoe. Hello yourself. What's a gal gotta do to get a conversation out of you these days? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Come on. You know we don't speak like we used to. Well, we broke up. You dumped me. What exactly do you expect from me now? Please, you know, I'm sorry for that. I told you a thousand times that breaking it off with you was the stupidest thing I've ever done. So come on, get back together with me, will ya? Tomoe, you broke my heart. Yeah, I know. Shinya, I really love you. I need you. Did you hear about my father? Eh? He's tracked down an important member of the Human Removal Service. Jeez, not this shit again. Can't you just let it all go? No, I can never do that. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I could use a hand, if you're willing to assist. Having someone by my side with insider information would be rather handy. Don't you agree? I'm not going to judge you for working with Noriko. If you can help me bring the greater perpetrator to justice, the head of the Human Removal Service, then... then I think it may have been a good thing that you did what you did. That's so... You'd forgive me for getting involved with such stupid shit? Yes. I'd have no choice but to forgive you. And maybe we can even move further forward. Right. Sign me up then, or whatever. I'll help out. Thank you, Tomoe. I'm going to interview the individual involved with the Human Removal Service. Are you allowed to do that? Of course. Father said I'm an important member of the investigation team now. I'd like you to come with me. You might be able to point out any inconsistencies in his testimony. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. Shit, man, I, I told you, I don't know. Can you just leave me alone? Listen here, you little shit. If you don't spill the deets, my man here will crush your fat skull into dust. Tomoe. 
Maybe you should let me do the talking from here on out. <sighs> Whatever. Mr. Matsumoto. Please, just call me June. Hey, nice try, mister. I ain't your friend. You can address me formally. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Well, uh, as I was saying, Mr. Matsumoto, you understand why you've been brought in for questioning, yes? Yeah, man, but, like, I'm totes innocent, you know? I don't even know nothing about the human removal service. You guys think I'm involved, but you haven't given a reason why you think that. Several witnesses, plus a security camera, placed you at the scene of a murder just two days ago. Now, it's apparent you weren't the culprit. However, your activities at the time of the incident were questionable at best. Oh, what activities are you referring to, detective man? You were cheering, and I quote, Kill him dead. Kill him dead. Yo, that don't sound like something I'd say. I want my lawyer. You can't detain me here. Mr. Matsumoto, you willingly came here when we contacted you. You are not under arrest. <laughs> this is ludicrous. Ludicrous, I say! Be that as it may, I have a few more questions. One witness declared that you followed the masked culprit after they fled the scene of the crime. Is there any truth to this claim? Nah, man, like, I just needed to go the same direction, you know? I've got no idea who this Harold person you keep mentioning is. never mentioned the word Harold. Is that the name the culprit refers to themselves as? Oh, this is like some detective mind trick, ain't it? I have the right to remain silent. Anything I say or do, or, or whatever, can be like... Listen up! You've got two options here. Number one, tell us the identity of that killer, the person you called the Herald. What? What's the other option? Number two, tell us who is really in charge of the Human Removal Service. <laughs> Behind all of this? I say fuck him. I'll sell him out. If it means you'll pardon my involvement. Please, Mr. Matsumoto. Please give us a name. Okay. Look. You gotta know this. I don't have all the deets, okay? I'm not as important as y'all think I am. But the guy running this whole thing? He's got an army of masked 
killers. An army of damaged chicks all going around killing and calling themselves the Herald. And the name of this ringleader? Like I said, I don't know everything. I don't got his full name. I only know him as N. Sinclair. Shinya, is the name familiar to you? Yes. So who is it? Noriko Kurosawa once told me about a book she was reading. No, please understand, I don't share the same taste in fiction as hers, so... Yeah, yeah, I get it. Get to the point. She used to read the most macabre, horrific stories. And she told me about one book in particular. A book about a man obsessed with corpses. Obsessed with corpses, huh? Jeez, don't that sound familiar. Wait, what am I saying? That does sound familiar. She told me about that book, too. Flower. Something about a flower. Yes. Strange Flower. A book by Nobel Sinclair. Jeez. You reckon that's the guy behind the Human Removal Service? I don't know. But it's a lead. A man obsessed with the dead. Truly despicable. Detective man, can I, like, go now? Absolutely not. Arrest this man. Yo, that's whack! What are you doing? Damn. Shinya, that was cold. It had to be done. So, what now, Detective Man? Our next step is to track down the author, Nobel Sinclair. Maybe he's our culprit, maybe not. Either way, we won't know until we talk to him. Right on. Um, and... What about... I couldn't have done this without you, Tomoe. And I wouldn't be the man I am today had it not been for you. So, thank you. Does this mean you want to be with me again? Yes, if you'll have me. Shinya, of course!
Let's go find this Nobel Sinclair fucker. Yes. Let's find him and bring him to justice. <laughs> 